Hello and welcome to another Creative Spark Plugs. I'm Eric Scott, and as usual, I'm here to just share with you a simple idea, a simple activity, a simple challenge, a simple exercise to get you making and creating, to get those creative juices going. So um, today is an idea that really just came from playing around in my visual journal, um, and it's a great way to just start kind of making some marks. Um, and it's going to be using stencils, specifically letter stencils. Now, when we think of using stencils, and especially letter stencils, um, we often think about like, I'm going to do words, I'm going to do, you know, a, a quote or something like that. Uh, but I find that you can actually have a lot of fun just playing around with tracing the letter shapes and maybe tracing parts of letters and not the entire letters and and really playing around with how the the shapes that you are tracing can kind of fill up the space. So with this, you're going to need some type of letter stencils. And if you've got several styles, sizes, uh, that might be even better. Um, I like the, the flexible plastic ones, but really use any kind of letter stencils. And if you don't have letter stencils, you can use other stencils as well. Or you could just play around with drawing the letter shapes but I find with like the the preset stencils you know it, it gives you a limitation right so that way you're playing around with you know the size the style whatever that you have um so you're going to need some of that you're going to need some paper to trace on and then something to trace with I'm going to use just a, a black pen to trace and then as as with a lot of these activities that I share with you um, they can become ways that you can, you know, add more to it later. So look at this as the beginning of something. So you can use it, you could add color to it, you can paint it, you could cut it up and use it in a journal or use it in another piece of artwork. But the idea is that this is just to get you going, to get you started and to get you playing around, to get you making to, because when you get to work, um, it's easier to stay working and the ideas will start to come and they'll start to flow. So anyway, let's go ahead and switch it over and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, I've got a small piece of drawing paper. I've got my black pen and I've got a couple piles of stencils. Um, I've got some really big letter stencils and then um, kind of the similar font, but a little bit skinnier and a little bit smaller. And then I've got some that are even uh, smaller than that. Like I said, I, I'm using the the flexible plastic ones, but really use any ones that you you have. And just since this is right on top, let's go ahead and grab it. And I've got my pen. And with something like this, thinking about you know the big W, uh, maybe I want to make it go off the edge. That's the other thing is that I can think about how it's filling up the space, how it's going off of the edge. Um, and so with some of these letters that are broken up into a couple different parts. I can just draw a part of the letter, but with something like the W, then, you know, I might just, I'm going to go ahead and trace the whole thing, but it goes off the edge. So, you know, yeah, it's a recognizable W, but maybe up here, I'm going to go ahead and trace, this would be a period or part of a semicolon or colon, you know, but it's a simple square. Maybe I'll grab, go in here and grab some... Just kind of looking for the uppercase letters. All right, so here we go. So now we're getting into some letters where there's parts of it, right? And I can turn it so that way it's going in a different direction. So I'm going to do this A, but I'm going to let the A overlap the W. And I'm only going to do this one side of the A. And so this is where kind of the, the fun begins, is that I, I'm just tracing not maybe the entire letter i can but i don't have to and you know that's how i'm kind of moving them around now i'm going to grab a different one so here we've got um you know ef and g get that out of the way and then you know maybe maybe the e is coming in on the side so i'm just playing around with how the shape. So I'm really trying to ignore the letters. I'm not trying to make words. I'm not trying to, you know, do anything that really makes any kind of sense other than playing around with some of these shapes. 
And so even if I can recognize the letter, because I am tracing it like the G here, the idea is that once I really start to build it up, you know, I'll I'll still be able to tell that it's letters, but you know, the idea is that I'm trying to get an interesting design going. Let's grab. How about some numbers? So again, I can I can trace individual parts of the numbers. I can trace the whole number. Really no right way or wrong way of doing this. But turn the stencil. You know, so it's really starting to fill up that space. Um, here's an A and a B. I'm going to turn it upside down. And with that, you know, just trace this part of the B. And the other thing is I've got, you know, the, the kind of the long skinny rectangle part. So let's go ahead and maybe trace that up here. I've got the explanation point. So again, I can trace just part of it, or I can trace the whole thing. Just let, allowing the lines to overlap. I'm just trying to break up the space, just trying to kind of see what comes about. Um, let's see, let's go ahead and do an S. Again, it's okay if I can read the entire letter, but because it's overlapping all of these other things, it's creating a design. And I'm trying to overlap and I'm trying to break up this space. Like right now, I've got this big space here and it kind of wanders all the way up and around. So I want to break that up. Maybe I'll use the U. And I'm trying to have some big spaces and then some really small spaces. So like, you know, right through here and here and even up in here, there are all these like little small spaces. Let's switch. I'm going to switch over to some of these little letters, slightly different font. And again, I don't have to use the entire letter. And I think sometimes that's a little bit more interesting. You know, what if I want to try to use this whole line, but I'm only going to trace parts of the letters? So most of these are have at least two parts. You know, so you kind of see like a little bit, and yeah, yeah, you can tell that they are letters. How about an O and an N? Actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and trace most of these. And like with, like I was saying, with most of these, you know, with all these activities, the idea is just to get your hand moving. So I don't. I don't have an end result in mind. It's just, oh, I'm sitting down and I can't think of anything or I just want to get started. I just want something to happen. Just trying to find a different, here we go, different letters. Maybe go up and down. Actually, maybe I'll flip it over. It's not that it really matters too much with these letters. But yeah, I'm just just getting my hand moving, just creating some kind of design. And then when I pull that out, you know, it's like I'm really looking at it. I've still got a really big kind of space here, maybe a kind of a sort of big space there. Let me grab. I'll do the numbers, but I think I am going to turn these completely backwards.
and just really th again thinking about how they are dividing up the space and who says i can't go diagonal with it either uh, and it just kind of helps break up that space let's do so look number six over here you know, sometimes with these really flexible stencils, the, the insides can kind of move a little bit, but not too worried about that. But um, anyway, so yeah, I think that's pretty good kind of design there. Got lots of different spaces going on, but um, yeah, I think that, that kind of gives you the idea. All right, so that it's a simple idea, right? I mean, just taking some letter stencils and not just stenciling a word or stenciling a quote or stenciling a phrase it's just about using the different shapes and if if i've got different sizes of letters i can get a variety of shapes i don't have to trace the entire letter i can use bits and pieces of letters and yeah when i look at the image i'm like yeah it's it i can definitely see that it's made out of letters but it's more about the visual design and it just is a fun way to play around with some letter forms and to create a design that I can then take and do something else with it. So I can color it in, I can paint it, I can shade it, I can do really pretty much anything I want with it, but it's a great way to get started. It's a great way to get your hand moving and it's just a, a great way to get working. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed uh, this latest installment of Creative Spark Plugs. And uh, don't forget to hit that like button if you like what I'm doing. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to uh, subscribe and know what I'm up to and when I post. So um, anyway, I really appreciate it. And don't forget to share, share the video and share the ideas and the things that you have made from watching these videos. So anyway, I appreciate you tuning in yet again and uh, look forward to bringing you more. So thank you so much. And as always, happy creating.